Welcome to this video. So today I'll be showing you how to set up PyCharm with Docker on a Mac. So the first thing that you need to have done is clone Ivy. The details of how to do so are shown here. Um, it also may save a bit of time later if you go into terminal and have uh, go into the directory in which you've installed Ivy. I've installed it here, so that's where I am. This, these are the subfolders, so I'll just clear that. Okay. So once you have cloned Ivy, you can scroll down on this page and find this Docker interpreter with PyCharm section. Scroll down, you'll find instructions for Mac OS specifically. So the first thing we do is install Docker Desktop, which I'm going to do here. Oh, it seems it's already started downloading there from something I've done earlier. But yeah, so you choose which option applies to you. So I have a Mac with Intel chip, so I've chosen that. Click into that. Um, yeah, another one starts. So it's download. Um, so that is going to take a little while. So once that's done, so once that's done, something like this will come up and you basically just drag and drop the uh, Docker icon to applications and then you can get Docker up and running. Uh, through the usual way, I'm just clicking the icon icon through Launchpad, um, and the Docker dashboard will appear. So uh, you may not have these images that I have, um, but yeah. So on terminal, um, we're going to pull the latest IV Docker image. But before doing that, just to check that everything um, is working, uh, Docker wise. You can do docker run hello world it says unable to run hello world locally so it's pulling from the remote docker hub and that seems to have worked so we can clear that now we can try and pull the docker image from ivy let's pull unify ai Slash IV latest. This also works. It's also um just uh, good to see yeah if both of these things work. It, like if the first one works but the second one doesn't, um that kind of narrows down the range of issues that it could be. I encountered uh, that issue actually when making this video, and uh, it actually turned out to be um related to a docker prune command I, r I ran recently, which deleted uh, a particular file in the storage space. Um, so I needed to yeah, reinstall docker uh, for this particular command to work. So it's a good idea to run both just to uh, make sure everything is working as it should. This will take a few minutes, so we're just going to wait for that. Okay, so that's the IV Docker image downloaded. So the next thing we need to do is install PyCharm, the professional version. So click download. And again, this is right for Mac, Intel or Apple chip. And you can download this free 30 day trial. So it'll start at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Yep. Take just a few seconds, not as long as pulling the Docker image. And now we have PyCharm opening. 
Okay, so this is already open on the Ivy project. It just takes a minute or so to get everything set up. Indexing, and you can see in the bottom right, scanning files to index. Okay, so now the next thing to do is uh, to set up the Docker image. So you go to uh, Preferences. Now this is at a frame. It's in the top left-hand corner beside of your um, Apple screen, beside the little Apple icon. You'll see PyCharm. You click that, then you go into Preferences. Alternatively, you can click um, Command and Comma. It should work. Now, so Docker, this is already open, but yeah, you go into build, execution, deployment, then Docker. And as you can see, my one has already been added, but if you click the plus on the top left, it should add a Docker connection. And you can see down here that the connection was successful. So you can click apply and then okay, and it'll return you to the editor. So now you can go um, actually again to settings or preferences rather and go to project Ivy and then Python interpreter. And you can see here that it's the remote Python 3.8.10 Docker interpreter. Um, yeah, you can choose. Uh, this is another one I've downloaded, but yeah, you should see these options. You choose that. Then it may take a few seconds or so as it has done here, but you'll see all of the necessary uh, packages um, for this container. So make sure that you choose Python 3 um, like that. And it should be good. So you press OK, and that's it. So a good way to test is, this is a bunch of mess here, but yeah, if you run something simple, ah, okay. It hasn't, uh, it's just still indexing, it's a bit slow. Um, but yeah, basically, once this is finished down here, you should be able to run something simple like that. And yeah, that's it. Hope this video was helpful and you haven't run into any issues. Um, but if you have, please feel free to uh, drop us an email or comment under this video.